Nowadays, cloud computing is used almost everywhere, whether it is a big company like Netflix or Spotify or maybe a small startup. Some companies are still migrating their applications from their data centers to the cloud due to many benefits like high speed, low cost, less maintenance, as everything is managed by the cloud. And you need to learn cloud computing today. So, in this video, we will learn about cloud computing. We will look at different topics like what is cloud computing, why companies are shifting their workloads from data centers to the cloud, or why companies are using cloud. We will also look at different types of cloud service models and then discover popular cloud providers right now in the DevOps market. So what is cloud? In very simple words, cloud computing refers to the delivery of computing services like servers, storage, databases, networking, software, and more over the internet. So there is no cloud, it's just someone else's computer. And in more simpler words, Cloud computing means renting services over the internet instead of running them on your own computer. To explain you this more clearly, we have a diagram here. So cloud computing means delivery of services like storage, virtual machines, compute, containers, networking, rather than using your own hardware in your data center. So let's say you want to run a website. You can rent a virtual machine from AWS, which is called as EC2, and install your web server on it. Instead of buying and maintaining your own physical server, you can use AWS infrastructure to power your website. So this is how you use a cloud rather than using your own infrastructure. Along with this, let's say storage. If you're using Google Drive or Dropbox, you're already familiar with cloud storage. In the cloud services like Amazon S3 or Azure Blob Storage, they provide similar functionality but are designed for more extensive use cases like storing large amounts of data for backups of the application. Networking in the cloud means managing your resources properly connecting them properly. It includes virtual private cloud or VPCs, subnets, firewalls. Databases are also provided in cloud. So you can use managed database services like Amazon RDS or Azure SQL database to store your applications data rather than setting up your own infrastructure to have a database. Similarly, these days, cloud also provides you with AI machine learning services, security and more. So now we know cloud computing is nothing but just renting services from a provider over the internet instead of running it on our own. Why do we do this or why are companies using the cloud? Companies are using the cloud because of all these different benefits, which include cost saving. So when using cloud, you pay only for what you use, avoiding big upfront cost for the servers that you might set up on your own. Next, you have easy scaling. Using cloud, you can quickly adjust your resources to fit your needs if you have increased traffic. You can also access your applications or your softwares on the cloud from anywhere. You just need an internet connection. Using cloud, you also have benefit of backup and recovery. So you can protect your data and recover it quickly if something goes wrong. Next, you also have better security for your applications when using security services in the cloud. And lastly, global reach. Using the cloud, you can serve users from all over the world, maybe in some other country, because Using cloud, you can deploy your applications in different, different regions. We will be learning about regions in the next videos inside this AWS playlist. So these are some of the benefits you get when using cloud. Now we have understood cloud is used to provide all these services on demand whenever you need it. And you can bring up your applications or your websites online in just minutes when using cloud. Whereas when you use servers on premises to host your application, it can take months or maybe years. Even when you want to scale up your applications, you will have to add new servers, which requires more cost and more time. Whereas in cloud, you can create a new server or scale up your applications in just minutes using the console provided by cloud providers. So now let's go ahead and understand the different types of cloud. So we have different clouds like public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and community cloud. All the popular cloud providers that you know about, which is AWS, Microsoft, Azure, all of them belong to public cloud. So what are public cloud? Public clouds are owned and operated by third-party cloud service provider. They offer resources like virtual machines, storage, applications to multiple customers over the internet. So this is used by everyone or many people on the internet, whereas private cloud is private only for your authorization. So it can be hosted either on premises within a company's data center or by a third-party provider. Private clouds can be used when you want more control or security compared to public cloud. If I give you an example of using a private cloud, Maybe a large company which has strict data security requirements can use private cloud to ensure that the sensitive information is protected and only accessible within the organization. Whereas when you put it on public cloud, it might be there might be a chance where your information can be accessed by someone else. 
This is when you will be using private cloud. Then you have hybrid cloud, which is a combination of both public and private, which means some of your infrastructure might be on public cloud, whereas databases might be on private cloud. Using hybrid cloud, you get greater flexibility and optimization of your infrastructure. So this is hybrid cloud. Next, you have community cloud. Community clouds are shared by different organizations with similar interest or requirement. For example, let's say a government agency and educational institution might be using community cloud to share different resources or collaborating on different projects. So whenever it is a community related task, you might be using community cloud. So we will be learning AWS, which belongs to public cloud. And I'm going to be teaching you different AWS services in the upcoming video. Once we understand different types of cloud, let's understand the different types of cloud service models. So every AWS service or any cloud service that you get belongs to either AS, PaaS or SaaS. AS stands for infrastructure as a service. PaaS stands for platform as a service. SaaS stands for software as a service. These service models will define what can you control or configure when deploying your applications on the cloud. To give you an example or to help you understand this more properly, I have a diagram here. So when you have an application or a website hosted on the servers in your on-premise or on-site, you have to manage everything, which includes networking, storage, servers, virtualization, operating system, middleware, runtime, data, and applications, everything. When you have us or infrastructure as a service, these are managed by the service provider or the cloud provider, let's say AWS. So AWS is going to handle the networking, all the wiring of the servers, racks. They will handle the storage on which your application is going to run. As a customer, you have to manage the operating system. So you will choose if I want to choose a Windows operating system or maybe a Linux or Mac. I will choose middleware, runtime, data, and then deploy my application on it. This is what infrastructure as a service is, where you manage all these things. When you use platform as a service, you will be managing only the data and the application. Rest of all, which is selecting the operating system along with networking and all, is going to be managed by AWS or any other cloud provider. Whereas when using software as a service, you don't have to manage anything. Everything will be managed by the cloud provider. You only have to create an account and start using it. Now the technology and the usage of cloud is grown. So along with these service models, we also have new ones coming up, which is function as a service, database as a service, and so on. Here are some examples of each service model. So in infrastructure as a service, you have example of EC2, because when creating an EC2, you choose what operating system do you want, what should be the storage attached to the instance, what should be a security group rule, and all the other things. In here, storage as a service, you get other options like Google Drive, Dropbox, all the storage services, including S3. In platform as a service, you have you have AWS Beanstalk. Uh, you also have services from Microsoft Azure and Google App Engine. Database as a service, you have all the databases, uh, cloud services. Function as a service, you have Lambda here or cloud functions by Google. Software as a service includes Gmail, Slack, Office 365. So in here, you just need to create an account and you start using it. So if you come back to this slide, you can see in this, you have to host it here. You have to build it and here you just need to consume it. So you don't need to manage anything because everything will be managed by the cloud provider. So these are some of the uh, cloud service model as a DevOps engineer. You don't need to memorize this, but just need to understand, uh, although no one is going to ask you what is infrastructure service or platform as a service, but just to give you some theory, I am sharing this with you. Moving on, we are going to look at some popular cloud providers right now in the market. You might have already heard about AWS, Azure, GCP, Oracle, IBM, uh, Alibaba. There's also more, including DigitalOcean, Linode, and many, many more. If I show you which one is the current market lead, you can see this graph here, which is from the quarter to 2023. So we can see AWS is number one, and that is why in this playlist, we will be learning about AWS. Next is Azure, then GCP, then Alibaba, IBM, Salesforce, Oracle. But this does not mean you cannot learn other clouds. If you learn AWS, you can easily switch or start using Azure or GCP as well. So now I hope you understood what cloud computing is and why our company is using cloud. Before we quickly revise everything we have learned, I want you to answer this quiz. So in the comment section, you can put the answer for the quiz. So the question is, which type of cloud combines both public and private cloud? So we have seen different types of cloud here. So we have public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and community cloud. The question is asking which cloud combines public and private. If you know the answer, you can put them in the comment section to confirm that you understood what is cloud computing from this video. Next question could be, what does R stands for? So you can check here, does R stands for infrastructure as a service or internet as a service or information as a, as a system? 
So comment down your answer and let's quickly revise what we have learned so far from the notes. Here are some notes that you can use. So if you want me to share this notes with you, you can let me know in the comment section. Comment down cloud computing and I will share this note as a PDF in the video description or maybe on LinkedIn. So we have learned what cloud computing is and according to the description, cloud computing is nothing but just delivery of computing services which include servers, storage, databases, networking, stock, software, AI, everything over the internet which is cloud. Next, we have also learned different types of clouds which include public cloud, examples are Amazon, Web Services, Microsoft Azure, GCP. We have also learned about private cloud uh, which includes VMware, OpenStack, hybrid cloud which are combination of both public and private cloud and last we have community cloud. Along with this, we have also looked at cloud service model, which includes infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, the three important ones, but you have more. We have also covered different benefits you get when you have an application on the cloud rather than having them on premises. But if you want to know what are some disadvantages of using cloud, you can check here. So there is some disadvantages with related to security, compliance, downtime, vendor lock-in, and cost management. Some of the popular cloud providers include AWS, Azure, GCP, IBM Cloud, and Oracle Cloud. So here is a quick note for you to revise what you have learned in this video. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section and see you in the next video.